Morning guys, we're going to be strip tilling today. Here's our strip till rig. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys kind of what this does. And we'll kind of continue with that through the field and hopefully get some done before the snow or rain. So this is just an eight row strip tiller. It's a gladiator coon. We really like this one. We used to run an hydrus on it last year. Uh, we decided to go ahead and switch it up and just go to 32. Uh, we felt that we were getting um, nitrogen loss because of the hydrus, that it would uh, not seal very good and leak up. And so we'd actually lose it to the atmosphere. So we kind of figured that it would be a little bit better. Let's go with 32. Um, handling wise, we already are set up for 32 for the planter. You can see the helicopter tanks here. Uh, those are 300 gallons each. And we always use this on our planter. So in all scenario, I'm watching you guys run strip till. Do you like principal till? Uh, any preferences? Why or why not? I guess we change because the amount of houses that we were making and how it's dry when we're making our soil. Uh, when you only get 12 inches of rain, moisture is a big key to us. It's definitely a limiting factor on yield. So that's kind of why we decided to switch over. And also just to save on money on having them run a disc across. All right, guys, uh, I had to jump off the strip tiller for a little bit. Uh, I'm actually going to load some alfalfa hay here. So a big crop of ours is alfalfa or hay. We do have a lot of dairies in our area, so we feed a lot of it to dairies or even just a lot of cattle yards, feed yards. What I'm loading today is going to be dairy hay. So you'll be able to see kind of what it looks like in the process of loading a semi. With the alfalfa, it's, uh, it's different uh, source of income. And we get to cut alfalfa four times a year. So that's nice because we get kind of a constant income. Let's go. go. Well, uh, we got this 
shift tower fixed. Uh, what happened was actually this uh, lock bolt came off on the other side here, but so this cleaner actually was starting to come through. So luckily we didn't lose this disc and we were able to find the cleaner. We just had to go look through the field and everything. Luckily we got everything fixed. I just got about 20, 30 acres to finish up on this field. And that might be it for the strip tilling this year. Just kind of check things out. First thing first, just make sure everything looks all right. And then we'll get going. got done with the strip tiller that's all finished up now it's time to get this bad boy all ready made sure to have any leaks from this winter that's always a fun thing luckily it winterized really well and so i don't have to worry about anything so we're gonna go ahead and grease this up a little bit get it ready to roll i need to take the gps off this tractor we only have two gps's and uh, we kind of share them with vehicle or tractors we were planting with this tractor last, and we were planting a circle. And planting a circle without GPS for uh, oats is kind of a pain. So I'm going to go ahead and take it back, put it on a sprayer, and we'll probably have to put it back on this here pretty soon. But the shuffle. Ta-da! Put this on here. 